Hi, everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to Boardwalk Hall and the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk in southern New Jersey. Our main event should be a good one tonight. And the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. Sugar Ray Robinson's not giving us much indication of what kind of fight we're going to see based on this ring walk. Sweet P, Pernell Whitaker is on his way to the ring right now, and you can see how excited he is for this one. Lots of confidence. Fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up and let's go. Here we go. 15 rounds scheduled here in this much anticipated fight, and we are underway with round number one. Nice job there hooking to the body. Keep moving around the ring. Well, Teddy, here in this matchup, two guys who tend to go the distance. What do we look for early? You know, I'm looking to see who can be more consistent in just one area. Who uses their jab a little bit steadier? Whitaker's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Sugar Ray Robinson. And now he's targeting upstairs. <sighs> Whitaker's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. And now you can see him utilizing the jab. You know, a lot of times you see a guy on the outside bouncing around, staying away. You understand the use of a jab. But when you're coming forward, you have to come forward with a cover. And that jab, that's the cover. Guard up. Good way to protect the midsection. Uh. Now hugging on the inside. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Sugar Ray turned pro at age 19 and ran his record at one point, Teddy, up to 128, 1, and 2. What an incredible run. The type of run that just could never be done nowadays. No, the first fighter to beat him was Jake LaMotta, and that was a very close fight. And just the incredible amateur background he had. He was undefeated. He was 85 and 0 as an amateur. So obviously he already understood several things. Technically he was solid, he had great talent, but he understood how to win. Targeting a left hand to the body. Able to dismiss that body shot. Oh, he just misses with that head shot. Will you look at this? Look at this pace that these two are fighting at so early in the fight. Teddy, 
blocks. Each man must have been determined to think they can get the other one out of here early. Yeah, I want to see who blinks first, though. That's what's interesting to me. Who changes? They can't both keep this up. Side, side. Move your head. Side, side. Come on, man. You're looking good. Looking good. He's tired. Look at him. He's so fucking he's tired. It. He's got nothing left. Now, listen to me. Right. I need you to double up your punches and keep the lead, all right? You don't need that. No. Throw that away. You got to breathe. Got to breathe. All right, how you feeling out there? You know you're not winning this fight, okay? You're not winning. He's beating you. I need you to throw more than one punch out there, okay? Here we go. Round two is underway. Oh, the left hand by Pernell Whitaker. Watch the hook, come on. Oh. He just missed that shot up top. Able to cover up that gut. Sugar Ray, a good block. That hook was well off the mark. A stinging counter punch after some fine defense by Pernell Whitaker. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Now he ties up there. Good flush, straight left hand. Good flush shot by Pernell Whitaker. Pernell Whitaker blocks that away. Turn that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. Whitaker's punches are way off the mark. He's been committed to throwing plenty of them. He just hasn't been committed to hitting plenty of the target. No, and it's not like his opponent suddenly became the invisible man. I mean, he's right there in front of him. It's just that he's tired, and these punches are coming from left field, and guess what? They're not getting to the plate. Blocked by Pernell Whitaker. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. <laughs> Pernell Whitaker's corner better explain to him clearly why he lost that last round. His accuracy was way off. Well, if you're looking to find change on the beach, you go out there with a metal detector. Well, right now, we need a punch detector. He needs a punch detector. He needs a jab to find the mark. Just like that, all right? Another round, just like that. He doesn't like those body shots. Believe me, he doesn't like that, kid. Keep working the body. Take some of this. And round number three is underway. Whitaker's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Solid hook upstairs. Come on. 
Good job by Sugar Ray Robinson landing that big right. Robinson's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the whips, the old great Pace Willie Peck. Made him miss, made him pay. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. I know there's always room for improvement with every fighter, but is that the case with Sugar Ray Robinson? What would you improve on with him? No, there is. On, Believe it or not, as great as he was in so many areas, the one thing that you could improve, you could find him. You could hit him. That's the one thing that you would like to improve with Sugar Ray Robinson. Make him a little bit more invisible. Halfway through this round here. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Sugar Ray Robinson's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. See him holding on. <laughs> Clinching his opponent. Nobody likes to see that. <laughs> Threw the straight right hand, but didn't score with it. Come on, punch, punch, punch. That's it. Keep working the body. Sugar Ray Robinson's left landing well. Missed the body shot. Ten seconds to go in this third round. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. That's it. I need another round like that. Just like that, all right? Doing good. Just keep it up. He's winning the fight. He's winning. You got to take it to him in this round. You got to bring it. The left hook is working good. You just take it to him. Apply some pressure. You understand what I'm saying? The quick takeaway from the first three rounds is that one guy's got the higher punch output, the other one's lagging behind. As we start round number four, Teddy scorecard, three rounds to none. Yeah, the one guy with the high punch rate, the reason he's winning and the reason why he's effective is he's in the geography of the ring he needs to be, in tight. Unable to score with the hook. Whitaker blocks that punch. He's still not moving enough. Come on, now move. Move. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Ray Robinson with 108 knockouts. You're lucky if a lot of fighters have had 108 fights, even back in his day. Look. He was a great Apple puncher gun. with either Apple hand, had great Apple speed. Gun, he could put punches together in combination. He could use his legs or he could fight with you. And one thing that sometimes gets forgotten about is he had one of the great chins in the history of the sport. That guy had an iron beard. Unable to connect by Pernell Whitaker. Sugar Ray Robinson with a blocked punch. 90 seconds to go in round number four. And just grabbing on to his opponent.
Blocks away that headshot. Not focusing. Cannot Not focusing. hitting his mark there going upstairs. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. He missed with that headshot. Whitaker's quickly approaching the point of no return right now, Teddy. You know, it wouldn't be far-fetched to see his corner step up on the apron and stop this fight. Well, not only far-fetched, I mean, I think it's starting to get to that point where it's their responsibility to be thinking about that. Robinson's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. Pernell Whitaker's been big shot. He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? Was saved by the bell. Teddy, you've been in a spot like this before as a trainer. Right now, you know what? What do you spend time on? You want to spend time on telling him why he got in that spot, why he got hit. But first, you got to make sure he revives. You got to get him clear minded. You got to get his senses back first. Cut his movement off. Keep, keep counterattacking, okay? He throws. Make him miss and count. Pernell Whitaker's got to find a way to survive and maybe even do more than that. He was knocked down in the last round. And here, you know, all eyes are on his status here to start this round. Well, Joe, don't put too much on his plate in this kind of situation. Right now, surviving would be enough. He can worry about winning later on. after catching one by Sugar Ray Robinson. Robinson's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Teddy, give me a scouting report on Sugar Ray Robinson. For a guy that does everything really, really well, what does he do just better than anybody? Look, Sugar Ray Robinson was one of the great hitters from either side of the plate. He could set punches up. Oh, he just ate a big uppercut right there. He had no idea it was coming his way. He does not look good at all. Whitaker's in a position right now, Teddy, that I've seen a lot of guys try to get themselves out of. Now, you've been damaged, you've been knocked down, you've been hurt, and it's desperation time. Teddy, we've seen guys with illegal fouling tactics just to survive. That's a good point. You know, I read his bio. He's a football fan. Right now, he better make believe he's a middle linebacker and tackle his opponent just to buy a little time. Halfway into round number five here. Nice work blocking that, and then an uppercut of his own. One, two, one, two. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Right now, more punches, baby. Punches and bunches. Let's see. He Let digs in go. with Let an uppercut go. after blocking that shot away. Let's see some more head movement, champ. Come on. Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. 
<laughs> Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. This round is in the books, and it looks like the gas tank on this fighter may be heading towards empty here. What is this, a case of guys just not putting in the road work and the conditioning prior to a fight? No, you got to figure he came in. His weight was good. Scales don't lie. We looked at the weight. He came in pretty good condition. I think what it is is now he's starting to get broken down a little bit, physically and mentally. The other guy is starting to impose himself on him. You're throwing your punches, but your hands are down. You good? Okay, now focus, now focus, now come on. The start of the sixth round. Pernell Whitaker's opening up this round with a lot of momentum. Now, down on your scorecard, but he clearly won the last round and carries that into this round. Well, look, the old-time trainer is my trainer. Customato used to always say there's no such thing as a one-round championship fight. You know, you got to do it. You do it to be the top guy round after round for a lot of rounds together. Well, that's what it's about right now. Yeah, he had a couple bad rounds, but now he has a chance to be back in this fight and show that his worth is down the stretch. Oh, what a whiff by Pernell Whitaker. Pernell Whitaker's using a lot of energy just by throwing so many punches, but he's not getting much out of all this effort at all. No, he's working much too hard. That's a good point there. He's working really too hard for what he's getting done. He has to now start to educate himself, start to, you know, place those punches in the right spot. Halfway no, through on, round on, six. Back and forth exchange. up on the inside do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him yeah the perfect way i mean boxing 101 counter punching you got a guy coming at you no better way than to change his mind make him miss make him pay Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Takes a step back, then the counter punch by Pernell Whitaker. Seemingly in control, and now maybe out of control after getting hit there. But what you just said, Joe, that is really what's the enemy of his right now, is nothing was coming at him. He was winning too easily, and for a minute he let up, and bang. Pick up the pace, pick up the speed. All right, breathe, deep breath, get some water. We got you it. You good? You all right? Breathe. Here we go, action to start the seventh round. Whitaker's coming off a very determined three moments that was quite impressive. In fact, I think he's got a chance to get right back in this fight, Teddy. Well, Joe, I'll tell you what, I'll go one step better. He's right back in this fight. All he has to do is keep that attitude and keep that same kind of rhythm he had the last round. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. Cut. 
Whitaker's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Get out the way from those punches. Move your head. Move your head. Pernell Whitaker's hurt by a big shot. Lay it on. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Can he get up from this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down? One, two, three, four, five. Whitaker's going to keep taking this test, rising up after being knocked down. At the halfway point of round seven. Let's see some defense. Come on now. <laughs> Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Robinson's doing something that not everybody appreciates, but he is making his defense a major factor in this fight. Yeah, well, a lot of times people, you know, they only get it done on one end. What I mean about that is, you know, offensively, they use the jab, they use aggression. What a great round this has turned into. After doing the hurting, now he's the one hurt. Joe, this is about wit, grit, and spit. This is about fighting. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own a left hand scores. Tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. Keep it going. Three minutes gone by in this round. Keep your hands up. Keep them up, all right? I mean, you know, he caught you with your hands down. Let's keep them up. He's going to come forward this round, all right? Keep that jam moving. Keep him away from you, all right? You gotta bring your hands up. You must bring your hands up. Relax, relax, relax. You just gotta relax, okay? You gotta move out there and move, move, move. Breathe, breathe now. Come on, you good? Whitaker's not looking so hot right now. He's down on your scorecards. That's one thing, Teddy. But as we start this eighth round, you can just see that he doesn't have much left. Well, you know, this is the test now. I mean, this is the time where you separate the men from the boys. Do you want to be a fighter? Do you want to be a champion? Those questions have to be asked, and they have to be answered. Already trailing on your scorecards as well. Robinson's just being very hesitant right now offensively. His first thought since being stunned in this fight is protect myself, protect myself. It's like he's turned the off switch on his offense. Yeah, but you can't do that. The lights go off, it gets all dark there. You have to find a way to still have that light on. You know, find the window, find the window of opportunity somewhere. They are out there. Be creative. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Robinson's well off the mark that time. Jump on him. Nice. <laughs> and that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. <laughs> 90 seconds to go. Halfway through round eight. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Pernell Whitaker stunned and staggered. 
somehow he's oh, avoiding going punch, down punch. here. All of a sudden, some good defense after a lack of it cost him. <laughs> Not able to land the headshot. Whitaker's got no chance of keeping his opponent off balance. None at all, because he's not moving at all. Maybe he doesn't want to. You know, guys start to deteriorate, not just physically. That's a big right hand. And yet another big shot comes in. Oh, that's a big shot. Arnell Whitaker's hurt. He's down and hurt. Can he beat the count? Right now, he's thinking about another line of employment. over. Robinson's in prime form. Power surge here. Knockout winner. That's what you want to see. A guy who can close the show and finish with style. He ends up a knockout victor tonight. And that's what his trainer wanted. His trainer was even telling him, step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible, and they got it. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great evening.